Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? I want to talk today about the negative impact people can have on us. How do you let other people influence you? Are you aware on an emotional level how other people influence you on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, a lot of times we just, we come to a point where we say, you know, I don't know why I feel down and out and depressed. What we're not evaluating is the impact that other people have on us throughout the days, throughout the weeks, throughout the months, throughout the years, until all this stuff builds up. And we say, something's going on here. We're not aware of, and that's why I'm asking the question, are you aware of the impact that other people have on you? Now, life is about relationships, and bad relationships with people is never good. Now, I think a lot of times we, we would think, okay, since I'm a Christian, I should get along with everyone. You know, I'm supposed to love everyone, right? Well, what we often don't realize is this, that there, there are people that if you allow them into your life will destroy you on an emotional level if you allow them into your life. And that's what I want to talk about today. Now, in Proverbs 18 and verse 14, it says this. It says, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear it. Now, I want to read this from a different translation, the Message Bible. It says this, A healthy spirit conquers adversity, but what can you do when the spirit is crushed? There are people that if you allow them into your life, will crush your spirit. Now, it's not a physical crushing, although really it can lead to that. But as far as on a physical level, you can't tell. You look normal but they can crush your spirit, you see. Yeah, have you ever looked at people and thought, wow, they look terrible? You know, maybe they're the same age as you, or, you know, okay, I'm 56, that person looks 156. Right, I'm just kidding, but you ever look at people and you think, what happened to them? How, how did they end up committing suicide? How, how did they end up at age 50 looking like they're 100? Well. I think it has more to do with, it's not just physical, you know, maybe they didn't exercise, they didn't take their vitamins and minerals, they didn't eat right, they abused their body. Yeah, I understand that. But in a lot of cases, what is happening is the person you're looking at, their spirit has become crushed. You know, I went to a, a funeral just recently of a, a lady that had committed suicide and it's always touching to me to see on the video projector, you know, you see the, the childhood pictures and, the ch and they look so happy. And you see the, the early year, the 12 years of age and the teen years and they look so happy. And you wonder what happened? What happened to this person to where they came to a point in their 50s that they took their own life? Well, the answer is simply this, their spirit was crushed through a series of events, you know, that happened to them, a lot of times that's exactly what takes place. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.